Hello, this is a tutorial about setting up point lights in LightUp version 1.3. I have here a walled area. Um, what I'm going to just do is just drag in a point light. Um, now, if I take the query tool and just hover over it, I'll get a um, uh, an indication of um, the lumen. It's a 1200 lumen um, uh, point light. That's equivalent to roughly a 75 watt incandescent bulb. So if we just go ahead and click uh, Tor Tool, we get uh, we get some lighting. It's not really a lot of lighting. Um, it's sort of what you'd expect from having a single bulb um, there. Okay, so well, first off, we can simply uh, duplicate. Um, so we've got two of these lights um, and press tool tool again okay that's a little bit better we've got more light um, now we can change the color of these lights by taking the paint pot and just simply dropping some colors on there so I've got a uh, sort of slightly warmer color here I'll click on there and we'll have a slightly cooler light here for this one and again Click Tool Tool, and you can see we've got sort of the more warm light here and the cooler light here. In version 1.3 of LightUp, um, it has the facility of loading IES photometric data for point lights. Um, and what this means is that you can uh, take the um, query tool and just, um, what if I just highlight, highlight both these lights, and then take the query tool, and just click on a light and you get the um, lighting dialog and I can now choose uh, a IES file so I've chosen an IES file I hit OK and hit Tor Tool okay so now we've got lights which are um, based on accurate physical measurements that were made in a lab um, and many manufacturers will um, provide these IES files for you to do your, your light design. So I can now um, start duplicating that light. I can move it around. I can um, we'll put, it, we'll put another one down here. Um, and I might actually just, um, just let's move that over there. And I'm going to adjust this little trench here. I've got some uh, lighting. Uh, to flood up the wall. So if I just click on that um, material, I can just mark it by clicking emitter as an area emitter. And now I press Tor Tool. And I've got, uh, I've got some interesting effect. And there we go.